welcome to story time with miss williams brought to you by opportunity educational center and the literacy coalition of palm beach county today we're going to be doing eric carl activities for his book the very hungry caterpillar which is also one of my favorite books so come with me let's go have some fun okay boys and girls so first we're going to read the very hungry caterpillar's favorite words and you're going to read along with me. What do you think that word said? Strawberry. The picture gave us a clue. And that's how we know that's what that word said. So let's read. Leaf. Sun. Pear. Apple, orange, pickle, cheese, cocoon, butterfly. What kind of butterfly was he? Everybody say it together. A beautiful butterfly. The end. That was the very hungry caterpillar's favorite words. All right, <clears throat> the next activity is a finger play. Okay, we're gonna sing a finger play about the very hungry caterpillar. You guys know this little piggy went to the market? Well, we're gonna change it and we're gonna adapt it to the very hungry caterpillar. So we're gonna say, this little caterpillar went to the market. This little caterpillar stayed home. This little caterpillar had watermelon. This little caterpillar had none. This little caterpillar went crunch, crunch, crunch all the way home. We're going to do it again and we're going to change it up. We're going to change something else the caterpillar ate. Let's try it again. This little caterpillar went to the market. This little caterpillar stayed home. This little caterpillar had salami. This little caterpillar had none. This little caterpillar went crunch, crunch, crunch all the way home. Did you like that? That was fun. All right, let's do another caterpillar activity. Let's see here. I have a basket of fruit. <clears throat> so we're going to talk about the things that the caterpillar ate. And it's fruit. So we don't have the salami. We don't have the pickles and all of that kind of stuff. We have something healthy, which is fruit. So let's see if you can remember on what day caterpillar ate what? All right, we're going to start with the days of the week. And the first day we found out that the caterpillar ate something was on Monday. Who remembers what the caterpillar ate on Monday? That's right. He ate through one, one apple. That was Monday. Then came Tuesday. Who remembers what the caterpillar ate on Tuesday? Hmm. If you said two pears, you were right. What comes after Tuesday? Yep, you're right. Wednesday. The caterpillar ate something purple and juicy on Wednesday. What was it? Did you say plum? That's right. Who remembers how many plums the caterpillar ate on Wednesday? He ate three. He ate through three juicy plums. What comes after Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. 
And what did the caterpillar eat on Thursday? My favorite. He ate this many strawberries. Let's count the strawberries. One, two, three, four. So, what comes after Thursday? It's Friday. And what did the caterpillar eat on Friday? He ate through five oranges. But I only got one. Then came Saturday. Saturday comes after Friday. And Saturday, he only had one piece of fruit. Remember, that was the day he had salami and chocolate cake and sausage and pickles and lollipops and all kind of stuff, Swiss cheese. But he did eat a piece of fruit on Saturday. And on Saturday, he ate through one slice of watermelon. The last day of the week was Sunday. And he didn't eat any kind of fruit on Sunday. So let's say the days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now I have two other pieces of fruit. Did the caterpillar eat through a banana? Yes or no? If you said no, you are right. Well, what about a lemon? Did the caterpillar eat through one lemon? No, you're right. The caterpillar only ate through apple, pear, apple, pear, plum, strawberry, orange, and watermelon. And those are all fruit. Good job, boys and girls. Alrighty. Let's do another hungry caterpillar activity that you can do at home. Um, if, if your mom have clothespins, you can make a clothespin caterpillar couple of wings. If you have pom-poms at home and if you don't have pom-poms you can be creative. Maybe ball, make a ball out of some different color construction paper and glue it to the clothespin to make your caterpillar. And if you don't have wiggly eyes you can take crayon or a marker and make him some eyes but what I really want to show you is how to make a caterpillar out of a coffee filter and there are a lot of different ways to do it some people take food coloring and they drop it in the middle and let it spread out but if you don't have food coloring but you have markers you can do any kind of design you want to on your coffee filter. You can do any kind of design you want to do on your coffee filter. You can use any colors that you want to use on it. You can use crayons or you can use markers. And if you're really adventurous, you can use paint. But I didn't say that. So you want to make sure your coffee filter has lots of colors and you can design it any kind of way you want to. Once you flatten it out. And it doesn't matter what size the coffee filter is. It can be a small coffee filter like I have. Or it can be a big coffee filter. Nevertheless, it can still make you a beautiful butterfly. 
All right, so once you finish decorating your coffee filter, you're gonna take your, you're gonna take one of the clothes pins and you can draw some little eyes and a mouth on it. But you're gonna take your coffee filter and you're gonna crunch it kind of like this, right in the middle. And once you do that, you're going to attach your clothespin, and then you're going to spread it out a little bit. If you have pipe cleaner, you could also use a pipe cleaner, which will give it its antenna. Let me show you one that I made earlier. That's one. And this one has the pipe cleaner. I would just need to give it eyes and a little mouth. Okay, so there are some butterfly ideas for you. Okay, we're going to do one more butterfly activity, and that's with the sandwich bag. So if you have sandwich bag, you really need the cheap sandwich bags, not the expensive ones with the real thick. You need a thin one like this that's kind of worn a little bit. And what you're going to do is take some different color tissue paper. If you have tissue paper, I'm going to show you what you can use if you don't have tissue paper. But let's walk through the steps. You're going to take some different color tissue paper, cut it up. As you can see, my scissors here where I cut it. And you're going to put it in a bag. And you can use all different kind of colors. It don't matter. You just want it to be pretty and colorful like butterflies are. So once you get your colors in the bag, you're going to spread them out a little bit. And once you get them spread out, you're going to close your bag up. And once you close your bag up, you're going to take it and kind of crunch it like so. And if you have pipe cleaner at home, you're going to put your pipe cleaner right through the middle. And you're going to twist it around like so. You're going to spread your... So you can really see how it's beginning to look very much like a beautiful butterfly. And then you can take your antenna and you can do whatever you want to do with them. You can curl them. You can zigzag them. Let the kids have fun with it however they want to make their butterfly look. And there you have a beautiful butterfly. All right. Now, if you don't have tissue paper at home, and you may not, when I say tissue paper, tissue paper. You can get out of the dollar store in all different colors for a dollar. But if you don't have that, you can always be creative. You can use um, copy paper. You can take the marker and make your designs or color with the crayon. You can use paper towel or toilet tissue. And you can color it or use um, a marker and make your designs and then take your scissors and cut these in squares or you could just tear them in squares either way whichever you decide to do if you decide to tear them in little pieces you can do that or you can cut them but either way you're going to put them inside of your little sandwich bag and that's how you're going to make your butterfly if you don't have pipe cleaner, another alternative to use is a bread wrapper. The only difference is your antennas won't be as long as on this butterfly. Okay, boys and girls. That is all of the butterfly activities I have for you today. I hope you have enjoyed these activities. I hope you are reading your Very Hungry Caterpillar book. I hope you enjoy um, 
counting with the Very Hungry Caterpillar and using your sticker book. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.